What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to be taking on Stage 20 Ultron with one of the best teams that you could possibly use against this guy. And whenever you do reach Stage 20, you do need superhero females. And there's actually quite a few strong superhero females that can actually do really, really well here. But the team that I'm going to show you is going to be one of the best teams that you could absolutely use for this. Now, whenever you reach stage 19 or whenever you're trying to get to stage 20, the requirements to get to stage 20 is you're going to need Elsa Bloodstone, which is a bummer. She's a nice physical attack leadership uh, for your physical attacking characters. But other than that, she's really a terrible awakening character. I just paid the crystals, moved on to stage 20 and skipped that process because I'm really just trying to push the world boss and get as high as I can. Although I got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching my limits uh, for the most part with most characters. This is getting extremely hard now at stage 20 i mean there's a lot of characters here that i feel could probably do this i mean obviously sharon rogers uh cersei maybe emma frost uh psylocke uh though all those characters could probably get it done here and wave and white fox especially well even storm is actually a really great support but wave and white fox are going to be just godly guys i mean they're they're, they're passives are just so good for characters with leadership and luckily the team that you're looking at right now have leadership the eternals are amazing now i tried doing this without uh white fox and i put cersei in there but the thing is with white fox i have a ctp of insider owner with white fox i get an extra 65 percent damage to super villains right i get an extra 15 percent all attack i get the extra chain hit damage it's just she's a much better support than cersei especially considering that she also has a ctp of insight right that's giving me an extra 20 percent increase of damage to universal types whenever that procs and that makes a big difference guys on top of the extra 65 percent damage to super villains and i'm telling you when you get to this point this gets extremely hard so i'll show you guys the builds for these characters now, obviously, Thena doesn't really get as much love as I feel she deserves. She's actually insanely good for this, especially if you decide to slap a CTP of Rage on her. I tried doing this with a mighty CTP of Energy, and it was extremely rough because Ultron jumps around all over the damn place. We've talked about this. Whenever you play with procs, if he jumps around, your damage proc misses, and you just lose all that damage. And with a rage, you just don't have to worry about it, right? Once that proc engages, it lasts for that f entire five second duration. And you can just keep running through your skills. You don't have to sit and worry about a proc. And normally, I don't really like that. I actually prefer playing with procs. But against Ultron, I'm telling you, man, the rage is where it's at. And luckily, Athena is an ABX meta, right? She is optimal with a rage. And with the rage, she can actually run through, go through her tier three every other rotation easily. Yeah, she can do it with a proc too, but nine times out of 10, her skills will trigger the proc early before you go and do your tier three if you're trying to do it every two rotations. Whereas with a rage, you don't have to worry about it. You can go and do your tier three every two rotations, no problem. And that's really where it's at when it comes to her damage. Now, as far as her build, she does have one, two, three, four, four Odin's Blessings, and the rest of her uh, physical attack gurus are at Mythic. And this is the thing about her, and I mentioned this before in my previous videos. You know, I have 77% physical attack, and I know for some of you, that's a lot. But really, whenever you're doing this high of a level against this boss, it's not all that great it's good but it's not all that great especially compared to how much energy attack i have i have 126 percent energy attack i got 40 percent more energy well almost 40 percent more energy attack than i do physical attack that is huge and both of these characters that i'm using are physical attacking characters as far as the rest of the builds guys you can take a look at them pretty much max stats for the most part dodge everything's maxed out critical damage just a a bit shy right she almost has 50,000 uh physical attack with her leadership and then all of her skills are at six. She has a fully awakened power ring, real set, the rage. And this is where she's hurting, right? I've been, your boy's been slacking, guys. I haven't been leveling her up. I haven't been farming for her bios. And her uniform is only at rare, which really sucks, guys. And if this thing was at mythic, man, she would be so much stronger. So I'm going to be farming the living hell out of this because she really is amazing for Ultron because of her accumulation, because of her heals, because of her AoE, uh, her damage. I mean... Thena's godly. Thena is godly. And then we have Makari. And I know this is an expensive team, right? You got Makari, 4,400 crystals. You got Thena. You have to get Makari and Gilgamesh before you can even get Thena. But I'm telling you right now, they are well, well worth it. Makari, she has a 53,800 physical tag with Thena's leadership. And then all maxed out stats. And then she does have 
one, two, three, four, Odin's Blessing. So I got decent builds on these characters. Got some Odin's Blessings on them. All of her skills are at six. She has a fully awakened Power Angry Hawk set. And she does have a CTB Rage. I also do have the Artifact, right? Uh, which increases basic damage dealt to enemies by with 50% or higher by 10%. Not really sure if this works on World Boss or not. And then her uniform is a Mythic. So I got a, a better build on Makar. She's going to do more damage than my Athena because of that. But still, both of these characters combined are absolutely godly, especially with White Fox and the newest uniform. Even if you don't have the newest uniform, they're still going to be super godly because you're still going to get an extra 60% damage to super villains. So I'll bring up the run for you guys right now. Here we go. And let's check it out, man. Let's check it out. And I tried going higher, but really, Athena's uniform needs to be leveled up. So I just start off with Athena. By the way, another thing about using a Rage that I'm finding I really enjoy against Ultron is I'm not running around trying to build up a beatdown proc. I'm not running around trying to build up a strike proc, wasting all that 10 seconds. That's nice, guys. That's nice. I mean, you can just roll roll through your skills, keep, do, keep doing constant damage to this guy, Right, so he doesn't build up that pink meter and go into his next phase. You can really go balls the wall when you're playing with a rage against this guy. It's it's funny. It, it's so weird because I've always hated the CTB rage, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Right now, I'm actually liking it a lot because it makes fighting this guy a whole lot easier. I said earlier that I tried doing this with Athena having a mighty CTP of energy, and guys, I'm telling you, man, lots of her attacks. I mean, Ultron just interrupted a lot of her attacks, man. I lost a lot of damage because of that. And because I couldn't do my tier three every, you know, other rotation, I just lost a lot of damage. She is way better with a rage. I'm telling you against this guy, she is way better with a rage. I mean, whenever I faced Null, the mighty CP of energy was godly on her and it still is. But against Ultron, you just want to keep doing all that constant damage and you want to be able to go into your tier three as fast as possible. And... Even though Athena does have good AoE on her skills, she can miss, guys. She can miss. And so can Makari. Now, Makari, the thing that sucks about Makari, and it's the complaint I've always had, is she is great with a rage. Obviously, she's ABX meta, same with Athena. But she doesn't have any guaranteed critical rate. So even though she does a lot of hits, sometimes her proc comes a little bit late. So every once in a while, you know, maybe you don't do quite enough damage if you're in a high enough level with her, uh, especially against this guy. And you might have to rerun it because of that, but it, it's not very often, right? It's not very often that you're going to have to actually do that. And you see how I'm playing, guys. I'm playing super, super aggressive, you know, try to get in a couple rotations before he becomes invulnerable and does some kind of certain attack from the Infinity Stones to try to, you know, take me out in one shot. And he will one-shot us. Even though we have the decreased damage received by 30% from White Fox, we got decreased damage received on the other girls, we can still take a lot of damage. And there we actually took a shot, which was actually pretty cool. I mean, and, and guys, seriously, man, the rage... Like, I don't like toting that obelisk up, but whenever we get a reforged rage, if we ever get one, and I'm pretty sure we will, especially after seeing Ultron, it's going to be so godly here. It is just... People are going to be begging for that damn thing uh, against this guy. Ooh, careful, careful. Oh, yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to keep it going. Balls the wall, man. <laughs> trying to destroy this guy as best I can. I tried doing stage 22, guys, but boy, it was... Uh, I'd always get down to about, you know, three or four bars at the very end of the fight. Just quite wasn't quite doing enough damage. And my Athena, just, she needs to be built up a little bit better. Now, I, I probably could have switched out Athena and put in Wave, but I actually did a different clear where I used Sharon Rogers, Wave, and Valkyrie, right, when I did a stage higher than what I'm doing uh, with uh, the Eternal team with White Fox. So I was just kind of trying to save Wave for Sharon Rogers, but maybe if I'd have put Wave instead of Athena and I just done all the damage with Makari, yeah, I probably could have done it. Uh, stage 20, I'm pretty sure. I mean, Makari's pretty godly for this guy. She is... Uh, She's pretty nuts. She is insane. Let's go, let's go. Just keep it going, keep it going. I'm just trying to do as much as I can. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love it when that Tier 3 hits. It sucks, man, when Ultron jumps out of the way and your Tier 3 almost completely misses. Oh, my God, that's annoys the living hell out of you. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I love it when it starts off from the bottom left or the top right. Very easy to avoid when it does. Ooh. 
Careful, careful, careful. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> you just you want, and as soon as you get out of that phase, you want to just start doing damage as fast as possible. And there, the lingering damage from Thena actually did a little bit against that pink bar, or purple bar, I should say. Colorblind, I guess. Oh. There we go. And there's certain attacks that Infinity Ultron does where you can actually kind of like, as he's attacking you, you can actually do some attacks to him. So that way you can speed up the process as far as doing damage to him. And you know, 35 seconds to spare, stage 20, my friends. I mean, that's pretty nuts. Uh, pretty insane that the Eternal team is actually getting it done. They really are one of the best teams, guys. And Cersei is really great. But because of her accumulation based on damage she takes, like against Ultron early on, it's not bad. But whenever you get like to the last part of the phase, you're not taking any damage because he's kneeling down, right? It's, it's, it's kind of a like Sharon Rogers and Doom because of their tier three, the way their accumulation is set up. They still work really well for Ultron, but Cersei, I mean, she struggles at the end. She really doesn't do a lot of damage, even with a mighty CTP of energy. And like I said earlier, White Fox is passive. Her support, she's just a better support, which allowed me to do a little bit more damage with Thena and Makari. So let me know what y'all think about the Eternal team getting it done against Stage 20 Ultron. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GM2 plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.